the TaylorMade Stealth Irons, new for 2022. We've got them here today in the TrackMan Studio Bay. Thomas put some shots and we'll tell you everything you need to know. Also, make sure you skip to the last chapter of the video for our final thoughts. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf. Today I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing at Minnetonka. Today we have new irons to test out, the TaylorMade Stealth Irons, new for 2022. In that game improvement category, uh, a bunch of technology packed in for distance and forgiveness. Um, Thomas, very familiar with TaylorMade irons over the past few years. We got a new addition here, the Stealth Irons. Um, take a look at it and tell me what your initial feedback is. Yeah, I mean, the looking back at the last couple of models, like the Sim, the Sim 2, mm -hmm. they've been hot, they've been explosive, been going pretty pretty good distance, but also very, very forgiving mm -hmm. as well. Um, the design wants to go up in the air and just generate distance for any type, type of player's type, really. Um, so no doubt, I'm gonna guess with this Stealth line, we're talking about distance. Yeah. We're talking about distance. The Stealth also still has like the echo damping system. Mm -hmm. um, so no doubt it's still gonna feel like a forged iron, yeah. but obviously play like a more game improvement iron. Yeah, that's a, a big point of the last few years for TaylorMade Irons has been that damping system that they've put in there. Um, it's kind of that unique polymer blend that's behind the face to really soften that feel and kind of, again, like you said, make it more like a forged iron. I don't think you can really fully simulate the feel of a forged iron necessarily in a game improvement iron like this, but it comes real close. Uh, the other key point too to, to mention is the new toe wrap construction. So they have the cat back design and the toe wrap construction they're calling it. So what they've done is they've taken some weight away from the high toe area and used that to lower that center of gravity, move it behind the, cl uh, behind the club face and lower in that kind of sole area. So a lot easier launch, a lot uh, more forgiveness there as well, more stability on impact if you do miss the center of the face that club's not going to twist as much as um, in the past. So, and of course, the, the through slot speed pocket, that's been there in TaylorMade game improvement irons for a while now. I think actually into like the P790s as well. It has, basically it stabilizes the club and increases launch on low uh, face contact. So your base, you got your, all your bases covered here. Your TaylorMade's helping you out uh, if you miss the center of the face. And of course, if you do hit the center of the face, it's going to you know, launch the ball like a rocket. Yeah, and if you don't hit the center of the face, it's still going to look like a rocket. It's got a very, very fast, forgiving face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So there's uh, a lot of testing to go into this, too. We, one thing we should note as well, uh, the loft, 28 degrees of loft here. Uh, so that's, again, on that stronger side of irons nowadays. Um, you know, we're seeing game improvement irons probably anywhere from that 27 and a half to probably 30, 30 and a half degree loft range there. TaylorMade's have been on the stronger side here with the Stealth and then stock shaft offerings. So this is the KBS Max MT, that's a steel shaft. Uh, there's also the Fujikura Ventus Red, and then there is the Aldilla Ascent, uh, kind of for that, those uh, maybe moderate swing speeds. So a lot of options here. We have the KBS Max MT to test with today. Uh, what do you think we'll see in testing? I mean, having, you know, obviously a lot of experience with the SIM and, you know, SIM 2 lines. Well, you talk about the loft. So when you got 28 degrees of loft on a, on a 7 iron, that is 6 degrees stronger than what my normal 7 mm -hmm. iron is. So, it, talk about distance. Now, it's going to be designed for golfers that, that need help to get in that optimal window to generate a 7 iron number. So if you have a very, very fast swing speed, and you have 28 degrees of loft, yeah, it's gonna go really far. Mm -hmm. uh, it's probably gonna go too far. Yeah. But it's for those golfers that want to try and get back in those seven iron numbers. So it's gonna be forgiving, um, but it's just gonna be explosive to help yeah. golfers hit the ball a little further. Yeah, and also the last thing we'll note is there's one stealth iron, uh, which is different than the last couple of SIM series. So we do have uh, the SIM 2 Max and Max OS heads with us, we'll kind of see uh, how that maybe fits in, uh, at least looks wise, maybe we'll do some testing a little bit with those, but um, we've got the, the Stealth, it's the one iron line here in uh, the Stealth family, so we'll test it out and uh, we'll see what Trackman tells us here. All right, this is some shots. So, Thomas, uh, now we should clarify, and you know we're well aware that you're probably not the perfect candidate to be hitting Stealth irons, uh, and you certainly wouldn't game them, but we will do some future testing with uh, maybe some uh, slower swingers that would be a better fit. But um, as we do with our swing report videos, we'll have you hitting the shots here and um, you know, we'll just see what kind of feedback you have. Yeah, this is just initial testing. Mm -hmm. My normal carry with my seven irons, like 178 to 180. I'm my, gonna anticipate my, this is gonna be a little further. It's gonna be a yeah. little bit further than that, yeah. I think. 
Yeah, that's that's some ball speed right off the bat there. Oh <laughs> my, my <God>. goodness <laughs> sakes. So that's a low spin number for one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's one four eight smash. Comes with uh, your, re I mean, relatively shallow attack angle uh, for a seven iron, but two eleven point two carry, two twenty four total. It's quite that the start. It's explosive. <laughs> but I mean, we're not lying when we say it's explosive and it launches like a rocket. Right. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's gonna go <laughs> pretty far. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's uh. It's now one quite thing I'm start. curious about is how consistent that is. Um, right. I know well, these irons. That's kind of the one worry point I think you might have uh, as a golfer is, you know, catching one that uh, maybe gets too hot and uh, can fly a little bit. Maybe, you know, you miss it a little bit, catches a little bit, goes a little bit shorter. And that, that distance consistency isn't there when you, hit, when you catch it well. Yeah, I think you get that with any iron that's a little stronger lofted. You yeah. see that with your, with your longer irons in, in sure. general. Mm -hmm. But uh, let's, let's find out. Let's hit a few more. <laughs> Not quite the ball speed, but didn't, the spin stays low enough. Didn't quite hit that one as solid. I mean, <laughs> you're essentially getting 30 yards of carry here. Right. right. Yeah. Now, again, we're six degrees lower in loft, and, and that spin is much lower than I know you don't really have for a seven iron. But yeah. uh, how about, give me, you know, you've hit two shots. Give me an uh, opinion on how that looks. Compared to maybe other game improvement irons that you've, that you've hit before, what do you see from the stealth there? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely in that game improvement category. Looking down at it, you know, from heel to toe, it's a little bit larger. Top line's a little bit larger, and sole's mm -hmm. a little bit larger. So it's definitely going to inspire confidence for those golfers in this category that are gonna need forgiveness. Sure, sure, yeah, and that's uh, definitely what, you know, those golfers are looking for. Most importantly, and that's what's gonna help their game the most. Yep. Well, more spin there, but uh, nice and straight. That is a very straight <laughs> ball flight. Wow. Yeah, these are some pretty crazy numbers. Carrying the ball over 200 yards already and the, is, and, is and, pretty and crazy. We noticed the difference, right, with game improvement irons, and you've hit them far. But I feel like this is another level. I, right. It, it just seems like, I mean, you've been, you know, we've had that 200 carry number quite a bit with these game improvement irons, but like 209.3 average right now, three, three shots seems higher than normal. It, yeah, it definitely does. <laughs> oh boy. Four right. <laughs> Four right. That's interesting, because I feel like I left the face, <laughs> I did leave the face open, but that, that's showing the forgiveness right there, because that was, that was an off-balance uh, swing. I mean, we, I've come to expect now when you do, you know, not quite finish a swing, because you <laughs> miss hit it or something, that it probably won't be that bad, but that yeah. is, I mean, it's a little shorter. Yeah, uh, you can see the carry distance dropped uh, actually a decent amount there because uh, that face was open. I mean, smash factor dropped quite a bit, but still very straight for you feeling like you left right. that face wide open. Yeah, it's still pretty impressive there. I mean, yes, that was a miss hit. Mm -hmm. It's gonna it's gonna show up as as a miss hit, but I can't believe how straight that was. I honestly <laughs> thought that was going like over yeah, towards the bunkers. Go. There's that stability yeah. on the club there, <laughs> right? I mean, keeping it keeping it square when it even though it feels like it's open. Yeah. Oh yeah, that one's cooked. Yeah, so that one I did not leave the face open on. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> it's, it's, it's surprisingly straight. It's, it is. There's really not much curve. Yeah, because I know you like to play that draw and you know, most times we hit, uh, do some testing in here and with non-game improvement irons, if it's even, even a player's distance iron, that thing shows up, that draw. Yeah. Not really sh you know, uh, coming to be here today. Right, yeah. It's, Resistance to twist, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's flying pretty straight. I didn't quite hit that one as well. Both speed looked like it still remained pretty good though. Yeah, and the it, smash factor dropped. <laughs> but it did. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's what, six shots? I think here. that's six shots. I think we've got a clear outlier so to probably remove. That's, this is going to be fun because I have a feeling this dispersion and the, uh, the numbers are going to be kind of crazy if one shot number take this four out. So was this. The... It's shot number four. We'll take that out. Yeah. Um, and then we'll go over here and we will <laughs> see. I mean, this is nuts. We're talking 210 yards down the fairway. 
Um, I'm going to expand this, and you can kind of see. Yeah. I mean, it's within five. This five is paces all of these are within. Right. These three right here are within a yard, uh, maybe a yard and a half within the center lines. That's we're talking feet, like three three to five feet probably within the center line. This one is probably four yards left. So 12 feet left. And then this one, this little bit more draw showed up. Six yards left. You're probably maximum, you know, 16 or I guess 18 feet left of your target or right of your, either way, which is yeah. just nuts. And it's, it's funny because I don't think people realize how far zoomed in that dispersion circle is uh, right now. And then we can look at numbers. That's what I'm interested in because, because I mean. See, look how consistent the carry and total distance is. Uh, in that deviation of 1.4, it's pretty darn good. Pretty yeah, darn I good. mean, if you're a golfer that's looking for distance in your irons, trying yeah. to pick up a little extra distance, keep up with your friends. Yeah, this is the a stealth great is, option. It, it, seriously, I, I I have to venture, and somebody can. We I know we have some avid second swing viewers of the channel. Uh, they can maybe go back and look at some of the testing that we've done with other game improvement irons. You might see some of these numbers with like your you know, really uh, super game improvement irons, like the T400 maybe that you've, if, I don't know if you ever hit that one, uh, or, you know, irons like that that might generate this, but yeah. that is 210 carry, you know, and that's essentially 30 yards of carry that you gained there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, what I normally say, every degree of loft is about three or four yards. Yeah. Wow. I'm talking about six degrees. So you, in theory, that'd yeah. be 20 yards probably? 20 yards, yeah. So it's, out, it's outperforming. So yeah. technology, it's, yeah. So you get that face. really fast face. You've yeah. got the, um, you know, and then the, the weight that they drew from the toe. Uh, definitely probably increasing some launch. Because you're, you know, you're, your spin is so low, but you're still hitting it in that window of 100 to 110 feet in here. Yeah, I mean, even though the spin's low, my carry to total distance there was, we're we talking 12 yards? Yeah. So it's... Yeah, it's pretty pretty good. Mm -hmm. Landing angle forty six. I mean, you're and now again. This is someone who swings the ball or swings the club. Excuse me, at the top zero point zero 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 one percent of yep. golfers. Uh, yeah, I mean, my concern would be uh, if you are a golfer that has a pretty shallow attack angle mm -hmm. and you don't have as much speed, is is what your stopping power is going to be like. Yeah, yeah. I think this is going to be a design because it's it's a lower spinning iron for those golfers that are a little steeper attack angle. Okay. And a lot of golfers are good to know. Yeah. Can kind of cross it. And hit that fade. Yeah, um, I think that's that pretty. That's before. a pretty standard. You know, especially you think about. Um, you know, I, I know I had some friends that played like baseball, and then they transitioned to golf, and they kind of have that. You know, wristy attack down at the ball that comes over the top a little bit. That generates a lot of spin, and so this seems like an iron that would um, kind of decrease that spin right. and make it more control a little. Yeah, bit. Yeah, it'd be important to get it, them in the optimal seven iron yeah. window. For me, I clearly wouldn't play these because this is almost right. in. What are they talking? Two ten. That's. <laughs> I mean, trying to gap out like the rest my, of your set. My, that's further than my five iron numbers are. Yeah. I mean, yeah. trying to gap out the rest of your set would be kind of funny. You'd probably yeah. have six wedges or whatever. Yeah. Uh, okay. So that's there's only one stealth iron. We've said that probably four or five times now. But we do have both Sim two irons with okay. us. Um, first, I just want you to kind of give us uh, how those look compared to the stealth. Does the stealth fit in the middle? Does it compare more closely to maybe one of the, maybe the OS or just the standard Sim 2 Max. How does that look? All right, so first I'm putting the club down next to the, the Sim 2 Max. Uh, it is larger than the Sim 2 Max. Okay. So it is, it is larger from, from heel to toe than the Sim 2 Max. And the sole is a little larger, the top yeah. line is okay. a little bit larger. Okay. okay, so it seems like it has a little bit more juice and forgiveness than yep. the Sim 2 Max. Okay, so now placing it down compared to the Sim 2 Max OS, Sim 2 Max OS is larger than the Stealth. Okay, yeah. which so I think noticeable. it makes sense then that they yeah. kind of combine, I don't want to say combine, but they yeah. kind of fit it in between to kind of fit the golfers that would, I mean, you know, fit a, the golfers, you know, whether you're a Sim 2 Max or Sim 2 Max OS player from the past generation, there's some benefits to you know, both. in both yeah. uh, with the stealth here. Yeah, I, it basically splits right in the middle between okay. the two of them. So it's like they've combined the iron into one. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so, um, I, I mean, if you're good for it, we can maybe hit a couple with the Sim 2 Max. Yeah, let's, Just let's see if there's that. any difference in feel and, and look and performance, you know, because I think the loss should be very similar, so we can maybe see how it compares. Okay.
So first thing I'm noticing there is Sim 2 Max is quite loud, a lot, lot louder that. than the mm -hmm. Stealth. Uh, yeah, I definitely did notice that. It was almost like a, it sounded almost you know a little bit high, like those like hollow body irons where it's kind of a um, like a crashing noise almost. There was more of that to the Sim 2 Max. It seemed like. Yeah, in this insider environment, I was hearing more of an echo when I, yeah, when I was hearing sure. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting on the spin notice, there. Yeah. It's quite a bit higher. Yeah, feel like you hit it good? I feel like I hit that one pretty good. I mean, it was okay. pretty high on that shot. Yeah, just a little bit higher flight there. Mm. Hit that one well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little more spin. Yeah, definitely. Now, we should note the loft is a half a degree more with the Sim 2 Max. So, you know, that'll there should be a little bit of a difference. Um, but, you know, when we look at the numbers here, that's a 600 RPM on average dis uh, difference. Yep. Uh, yeah, we can talk about the numbers here, comparing Sim 2 Max versus the Stealth now. Club speed, you know, about, about the same there. Yeah, um, same with ball speed. speed. So Smash Factor was just a little hotter with the Stealth. Now mm -hmm. that's probably that half a degree less loft sure. on it. Mm -hmm. Um, launch angle is a little lower, about 0.7 degrees makes sense. lower, makes sense. But yeah, that spin. And the spin consistency. So lower and was consistently spinning less, yeah. plus it was only three shots versus five. Yeah. That's, that's shown how forgiving that stealth model yeah. really is. So they've added some consistency and forgiveness in there. And they've also, it seems like, I know this is a very initial testing, but it seems like they have uh, decreased some spin too a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, and it's like when I'm looking at my attack angle, my attack angle actually was steeper with the Stealth than the Sim 2 Max, so you would expect a little more spin with a steeper attack right. angle, but the yeah, opposite interesting. occurred. interesting. Yeah, so, yeah, it's quite interesting. It's, it's just a, it's a rocket, really. Right, what it, it is. is. I mean, it's, it's that low penetrating flight, um, and it's not going to spin a ton. Interesting that they're kind of going that way, because usually a lot of times, given Fruman irons, um, you know, you're, you're looking for kind of... Some, some more spin yep. for players that might not be able to get it up in the air, but maybe they're targeting those players like we talked about that do come in pretty steep and they're going to need more control with the ball um, instead of that high spinny that can kind of go any other way. Yeah, my only concern obviously would be landing, landing angle and stopping yeah. power. Mm -hmm. Is if it's coming in with too little spin and it's not high enough. Yeah, yeah. Depending on the golf course you're playing, it might not stop fast mm -hmm. enough for you. All right, so Thomas testing complete tailor-made stealth irons. Um, I know we talked about it a little bit, but kind of give me the summary of the golfer that we think uh, fits best into the stealth. Yeah, so I would say it's a golfer that has a little steeper attack angle that is trying to reduce spin mm -hmm. or a golfer that is trying to pick up distance. Okay. Um, it's, it's a rocket launcher. Yeah. It goes really far. Um, the loft is going to influence in that as well. Now you can always tweak the lofts on it, order the lofts a couple of degrees stronger or a little weaker if you, if you need to, but general census is the stealth irons are yeah. going to go really far. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a ton of forgiveness. We even noticed the, the miss hit that you had. I know you don't have a lot of miss hits, but the one that you had and you thought the ball was, you know, you said four right, it's going to go right. <laughs> it was probably, you know, 15, 20 feet offline. Right. So yeah. if that's the miss, then I think Taylor has done a great job of adding that forgiveness in there, that, that weight that they've redistributed from the high toe down behind the club face and lower in the head has definitely stabilized it a little bit. So if you're looking for forgiveness, looking for distance, and you do come in steep and have a little bit of spin, reducing that is, is in your benefit. Stealth seems like it's right up your alley. Right, yeah, it's just gonna go far, it's gonna go straight. Mm -hmm. um, looking at my dispersion pattern <laughs> on the shots that I hit there, uh, that white circle with the stealth, That's, it was I mean, impressive. I don't think that I, we need, the viewers need to know how stupid that is, to have that dispersion circle 210 yards down the fairway. That's incredible to see that. And your right. ball was barely curving at all either. Now, yeah. again, the, the one miss you had is probably, I don't know, 50, 10 yards, maybe, outside maybe. to the right that we yeah. took out. But otherwise, they had five right down the middle there. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's very forgiving. Mm -hmm. I, it's it's, it's going to be good for those golfers that want to hit the ball far and want some forgiveness. Yeah, absolutely. Well, golfers, um, you've seen the the numbers here from Thomas. You've seen uh, kind of our, what we think, what our take is. The, st the stealth irons are going to be uh, big winners for golfers. Again, 
have a lot of spin, need to reduce it a little bit, or a golfer simply looking for more distance and forgiveness. The Stealth has it all packed in there. You know where to get fit. That is that second swing golf uh, with our award-winning fitters here. Uh, go through a tour van fitting, make sure they're in your bag and ready to play. That will help you hit straighter, longer iron shots, hit more greens, and ultimately lower your score. So, Thomas, thank you for joining today, hitting all the shots. Uh, I mean, again, the Stealth, very powerful club. It's going to be great for 2022 and beyond. Come on in for a fitting.